Red Dead Online has gotten a new update today and we have some new insight on the road ahead. But before we dive into that, I'd quickly like to mention the video why Red Dead Online is dying, but it can be saved. So I made the video to point out why a lot of players are bored with the game right now because of the lack of content and some choices that Rockstar made. I'm not gonna dive into the specifics, so check out the video in the pinned comment if you do want to hear the ins and outs. Uh, but one of the biggest arguments is that a lot of players aren't enjoying the shooter angle and would like to see Red Dead Online become more of an RPG. And with a future update coming soon, provided in the details in the latest post, we are kind of getting that. Now, videos like mine often get met with criticism. Some people simply agree and explain why they stopped playing. Some people disagree with my video and explain why, for instance, they still have a lot of fun with friends or whatever. I am never ever gonna try and take that away from you. I am glad you have fun with the game. And why would I argue with you about that? That's not why I make videos. I'm not trying to sway your opinion on the game. If you enjoy it, I'm very happy for you. You've earned it. You've waited a long time for this game to enjoy it. But there is some other group of players that come to these videos that I do have a problem with. People deflecting every bit of criticism on their game by calling out that it's a beta. You can't deflect every bit of criticism about your precious game behind your big beta shield. That's not how it works. Rockstar wants to hear criticism and people being very critical about their game. We, some fans of Red Dead Redemption 2, some as fans of Red Dead Online and some as Rockstar Games fans need to be vocal about what they want to see in the game or what they want to see fixed. And be very honest with me, how different was this game from the launch of GTA Online? Well, I can tell you it was exactly the same. Both games are very barren, but the main difference is everyone saw the potential of GTA Online nearly instantly. And with Red Dead Online, the water is still so murky. What we want to see, what I want to see from Rock Rockstar Games is a clear roadmap. What they have planned for us in the future months so we can provide feedback on that. But that kind of leads us into the actual video because we have gotten a new update and some pointers for future update. So. First of all, a new game mode called Gun Rush, which is basically a battle royale mode. You rush towards the center of the map where all the best weapons are located and you start battling it out. Now, I don't want to be that guy and really start negative, but I can't help but point out that the lock-on situation is still atrocious in this game. And this game mode is therefore equally unappealing to me as every other game mode. Let me just give you this one example. If I was that guy, I would have left the game right away. And it's not because that I'm a sour loser, but I kinda am a sour loser, let's be very honest about that. But it is mainly because I know how I got killed, right? It's a very simple lock-on system from miles away, you get dropped. And why would you stay for another wait for five minutes till the game is over? Why you can actually have other things to do in Reddit Online or play different games really. But either way, if this game mode was in free aim, it would have changed the dynamic and the excitement of it so much. Now I also seem to struggle to find actual full lobbies. Most players, well, they don't want to wait around for ages for two players to find one another. So they just leave up and you end up with lobbies that are half filled or you just end up in a straight up 1v1 on a massive map. Now these are my findings after trying to give this game mode a shot over the course of about an hour. I want to know from you guys if you are having the same issue of, or if this is an Xbox One only thing. But I have to say when free aim comes in an update, which I hope is sooner than later, this game mode could become pretty cool. But for now it's mediocre to, well, full blown bad really. We are going to dive into three exciting things now which are coming soon to Red Dead Online. The Law and Bounty upgrade. Some changes are coming to the way the Law and Bounty system works in Red Dead Online to reduce the enticements for griefing. Soon players will get a bounty for committing crimes and will be incentivized to pay them off within a lot of time. Wait too long and bounty hunters from each of the states will track the player down forcing them to either pay up or escape. 
So this is the first of three anti-griefing measurements. And not only does this work as an anti-griefing tool, but it also has an RPG element. Just like in single player, you can now get bounties for grieving and being unkind, which you'll have to pay up. So that is a definite win for the people who just want to do their own thing in free mode. There's also parlay changes. We're making the parlay system easier to trigger so that you can avoid aggressive players more quickly. In addition, it will also be easier to trigger feuds, posse feuds and leader feuds to take on attacking players in structured competition. So if you find yourself on the wrong side of the barrel of grieving bastards, you can go into passive mode or parlay, I guess, uh, way quicker than before. Now last up we have proximity based player blips. Player locations blips will only appear over short distances, reducing the range at which you are visible to others, decreasing the likelihood of being targeted by another player across large areas. Down the line we're also looking to introduce the ability to identify players who grieve and kill indiscriminately with a progressively darkening blip that will become more visible and at longer range so everyone in the session can identify potential dangerous opponents at a glance from a safe distance. This uh, is a massive one and the one that will read that online really need it. This is a leap in the right direction and will make encountering players more exciting and stop griefing. This was a highly requested change to Red Dead Online and I actually didn't think they would go through with this as drastically by bringing it to all lobbies. The fact you can spot these players who have a griefing track record from further away is a great way to avoid these kind of players as well. These three changes are great for free mode in general and should be fun for people just trying to do their own thing like hunting or whatever. Now to quickly mention the upcoming additions that will come somewhere this year. All new missions to build on your story in the land of opportunities, which is the story missions from previously established characters like Horley and Jessica Leclerc and some new ones as well. A range of dynamic events throughout the world, lots of new competitive modes including new showdown modes and races, plus new weapons and clothing and lots more that we're not quite ready to announce just yet. Well, all in all, I'm looking forward to the anti-grieving measures the most, but I can't help but say and feel that I, I kind of feel like we're still left in the dark too much around Red Dead Online. These four things they mentioned, the last four things, aren't really exciting, but I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see. So what are your thoughts about this update? Do you like what Rockstar added? Is it enough to keep you satisfied for a while? And are you looking forward to potential new updates or... Are you kind of in the boat of giving up? Let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed and I'll see you later. Okay, bye.